You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Okay, so as you probably know, the standard diagnostics, typically a colonoscopy, um, that can be useful um, because the, um, the benefits of a colonoscopy is when they go in, if they see a cell that is um, sort of on its way or a lump that is on its way to becoming cancerous, they're able to remove it right then and there. And that's, you know, the end of the problem. So it's good for that purpose. However, um, you can't always get the scope all the way up to the proximal side. That's a bit of distance. And a lot of colonoscopies kind of stop around the mid or transverse colon region, um, which is important because you want to do the full colon. And another thing too, is it doesn't detect tumors that are occurring on the outside of the colon. Um, so, you know, that's one of the problems with that. There's also the digital rectal exam that we all know about. Um, I'm not a big fan of that <laughs> for, for multiple reasons. I just don't like it. It feels uncomfortable. I had my first one about two years ago. Um, and, um, uh, and, and it's just, you know, it's not that active it's more for it's not that beneficial it's just for the local region around the anus um and, and it's more for looking at prostate cancers and actual colon cancers unless there is some blockage around the anus um and yeah and then you can do the cbc the blood counts and so on to see if there's any uh blood markers out of you know off there's also tumor uh, marker testing which <laughs> typically doesn't show up uh, cd19 and so on and cea typically doesn't show up until the disease is advanced. And then in a lot of cancers, um, they don't, you know, some cancers don't even, um, don't even express these tumor markers. So they're not a reliable way of determining uh, if you have cancer or not. Liver function tests, if there's something wrong with your liver, it's a good sign that you have metastasis or some sort of uh, problem with your liver. Uh, CT scan is good, uh, MRI scan. Uh, biopsy is for identifying the sample once you've once you've identified the the actual tumor itself then that's that's going to be something that you need to have to determine a bunch of different features like is it actually colon cancer um you know what type of colon cancer it is you know is it a you know a squamous or a dental carcinoma and then most importantly um there's something called uh, it's genetic testing it's called BRAF, RAS and PIK uh, 3CA testing and um, those tests are being done more and more. They're, they're sort of the new standard, but they don't always get done in time for treatment. And that's a bit of a problem. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.